We did have a beady eye just open, see what we're up to. So he's definitely keeping a very close watch on us. But still no yawning as yet. But don't be fooled into thinking that these lions have no clue what's going on. If an impala was to walk through here, or if I was to get out the car, these males would be up like a shot. Now, it may take them a few moments if they're in a very deep sleep to realize what's going on, but those bellies are telling me they would take any opportunity because there is a lack of belly there. So the sun is almost completely gone. So it's just a little bit light, but it is almost gone. And now the darkness is their time. This is when they can make use of the night. But the problem is they have the moon now to contend with and the moon can change the dynamics again. So under the cover of darkness, they have the upper hand. The herbivores are less likely to detect them. But in the full moon, and I think it is full moon tonight, the herbivores can see them approaching if they're not careful. So you generally find the herbivores going to the center of an open plain so they can actually see any movement from the predators. So it's going to be against them tonight, and that could be why we're seeing the bellies not as full as what they could be. So they, the male on the right might have just hit it lucky maybe with a, a small dacre or something like that that may have crossed his path. I've actually seen a bush buck not realise that a sleeping lion was there and jumped over him and he actually grabbed it. Absolutely incredible. So hopefully they will find a way to hunt tonight. Good afternoon to you, Raisa. Raisa asking if I've heard of the white muscle disease in the Uncahuma pride, and I have, and I've not heard it before. But apparently it's because the vegetation has not been as nutritious as in previous years, because unfortunately South Africa has gone through quite a, a big drought. And it's not as bad this year, but it's still uh, very, very dry, even though we are in winter. Um, it's still extremely dry. The dams are not as full as that, what they would be at this stage had they had the right amount of rainfall. So apparently, because there was not as much nutrients available for the buffalo, there wasn't enough nutrients really to pass on to the lions when the lions were feeding on the buffalo. So unfortunately, the cubs, because they're so young, they were uh, quite badly affected by it. So apparently, uh, a few cubs were susceptible to it and then they did actually gain the muscle this year but uh, not a nice disease but I've not heard of it until uh, coming back actually but it's good to know that they can actually recover from it if they get the right food at the right time now I'm just trying I was just trying to work out how old these males might be and you can see on the nose there it's still slightly pink with a few speckles of black and the other brother as well has a bit of pink. So generally speaking, the nose does change color. So once the, when the first born, it's usually quite pink in color. And as they get older, that pink uh, becomes more black. And as they become sort of 10, 12, it's very, very black. So you can kind of have a guesstimate at the age. So looking at where the mane is on the body, uh, bearing in mind what I said earlier, uh, the mane can fall out, but it doesn't look like it's reached down the, the back behind the shoulder blades as yet. Uh, so I'm thinking they're probably around the five, maybe six-year-old mark, because uh, they still have a little bit of pink there on the nose. I'm wondering if you can hear the arrow mark babblers that were just calling then, giving their evening chorus before they head to bed. And a few of the collared cake turtle doves singing, but it is becoming quieter now. 
still very peaceful for these two boys. So let's see if Brent's got any action with his lioness.